Hello KJs! Good morning! Welcome back to our virtual class lesson. Now we are on week 3. This is your teacher Marvik signing in. Lesson, let's have a short review about energy. What does energy mean? Energy means ability to do work. Again, when we say energy, it is ability to do work. And energy has three kinds. These are sound, light, and heat. And for today's lesson, we're going to discuss about heat. On this picture, KG3, what do you observe? What are the things you see? Very good. There is a gas range, casserole with water, and a spatula. Okay, how the water boils? Because the gas range gives off the heat to the casserole that causes water to becomes hot or boil. Okay, let us discuss more further about the heat energy. What does heat mean? Heat is a state of being hot. Again, heat is a state of being hot. The main source of heat is sun. And if you still remember, sun is also the main source of light. How does sun help? What do you observe on this picture? Do you have something in your mind? Yes, very good. There is plant and sunlight coming from the sun. How does sun help the plants? The sun helps the plant to grow. I will show you a video on how the sun helped the plants to grow. Heat energy is something that is very useful to all living things. In fact, no life would be possible on our planet without the light and heat energy from the sun. The sun makes it possible for all plants to grow. Plants, in turn, are needed by living things to consume. Okay, KGs. As you've watched on the video, Sun is very important to every one of us, not only for the plants to grow, but also for the animals and us humans. That's why sunlight is very important. And it also gives light during the day. And it keeps our body warm, just like you see on the picture. How about this on the pictures, KG3? What do you observe? What are the things you can see? Yes, there is a sun, candle, and a two people cooking a marshmallow on the fire. Remember, KG3, many things give off both heat and light. Again, many things give off both heat and light. Okay, if you still remember, sun, candle, and fire are also the sources of light as well as heat. Let's move on. How about on this picture? What are the things that you observed? They may be the things that produces sound, light, and heat. Remember, sound, light, and heat are kinds of energy. Again, we have three kinds of energy. These are sound, light, and heat. Energy can make things change. How? Example on this picture. The girl has two sticks. And when this girl tap this drum, this drum will create a sound. Isn't it? Yes. And how about these two lamps on the side? If you turn it on, it will make or it will give us light. How about this bell? What does gives us? Yes, 
If you move this bell, it will create a sound. Very good. And so many things on this picture that gives us sound, light, and heat. Remember, energy can make things change. How? Of course, you need to work on it. You need to do something for the things to change. Example, when you fire this candle, it will give us heat or light. And even this wood, when you fire this out, it will give us heat or light. Next, also in these pictures. Okay, there is a boy playing a flute. When he plays the flute, it will create sound. And when you turn it on, this television, MP4, and this radio will create sound. And even this television will give us light. And as well as heat, how? I know some of you will ask how the television will give heat. Example, when you play this television for a long time and when you touch it, your hand will feel hot. Remember these three sentences, KJ3? Sound energy helps you hear. Sound energy helps you hear. Light energy helps you see. Light energy helps you see. Heat energy keeps you warm. Heat energy keeps you warm. Next, move on. And here are the example and use of things that give off heat. I will show you some pictures and how are we going to use them. Next, first one is toaster or bread toaster. When you turn it on, this thing, and when you put your bread on it, it will become hot and you're going and you're ready to eat it and next when you put your wet clothes here on the clothes dryer it will dry it because because it gives off heat some things give off heat and what else the things that gives off heat oh do you know kg3s do you know this thing very good. This is a candle. What does this thing give? It may give what? It may light our house or it gives us heat. And any one of you knows this thing? Do you have it at home? Yes. Do you know what it is? Very good. This is a gas range. Again. Gas range. Very good. How do we use gas range? Example on this picture. What do you observe? Very good. The mother used the gas range to cook food. The mother used the gas range to cook food. Your favorite food, maybe. Next, any one of you? Yes, this is a hair blower. Hair blower is used to what? What do you observe on this picture? This girl used the hair blower to dry her hair. Very good, but don't use it all the time. It may ruin your hair. Next, A, what? Do you have it at home? I have it too. This is a rice cooker. Rice cooker is used to cook rice. Very good. And the last one is fire. You know what? Fire has a lot of uses. And the first thing is we use it to warm our body or to light our house or to keep our body warm during winter day. And to fire the chimney. This is a chimney. And the last one. You know that, KJ3? A long time ago, there's no gas range and oven, coffee maker, or even rice cooker. People a long time ago, they, they are only using the wood and fire to cook food. Isn't it amazing? You can try it too, but be careful. It may be hurt you. 
And let's move on to our seat works on our book. Okay, on page 120, you're going to circle the thing that uses heat to toast bread. Number, on our page 120, you're going to circle the thing that uses heat to toast bread. What thing here that uses heat to toast bread? You're going to circle it. Next, on page 121, you're going to draw something here that gives off heat and light. Again, you're going to draw something here in the box that gives off heat. Next, on page 122 to 123, you're going to circle the sources of sound, light, or heat energy. Circle the sources of sound, light, or heat energy on page 121 to 123. Next, on our last seat work on the book, on the first row, red circle, you're going to circle the thing that gives off light. Which thing here that gives off light? Next, on the yellow triangle, you're going to circle the thing that makes sound. Which of the following here that makes sound? Next, on the blue square, what is the thing that gives off heat? What is the thing that gives off heat here? Okay, now let's move on to the next activity and to test your knowledge about uh, the lesson we had a while ago. Let's have our worksheet number two that covers lesson 27 to 28. On our first part, directions, look at the pictures carefully. Here are the pictures. Circle the things that gives off natural light and check the things that gives off artificial light. Again, look at the pictures carefully. Circle the things that gives off natural light and check the things that gives off natural of artificial light rather. Okay, what do you think here are the things that gives off natural light? Is the sun gives off natural light? Very good. You're correct. How about the flashlight? Does it give natural light? No, it is artificial light. You're gonna? Okay, here are the things that gives you natural light also the sun stars and the moon next next let's move on to the things that gives off artificial light we have here candle flashlight laptop lamp television and fire all the things that are circle and circle those are things that gives off natural light the sun, stars, and moon. And the things that are checked, they are the things that give off artificial light. As you can see here on the picture. Please be guided. Next, on our second part, directions, look at the pictures carefully. Shade the circle below the object if they gives off heat. Okay, let's start with the bread toaster. Does this give off heat? Correct. It gives off heat. You're gonna shade it. Next, how about the fire? Does it gives heat or not? Yes, very good. The fire gives off heat. How about this gas range? Does it gives off heat? Very good. It gives off heat. Don't forget to shade. And how about a candle? Does it does it gives off heat? Very good. It gives off heat as well. Next, how about this pencil? Do you think it gives off heat? No, it will not give off heat, so you're not gonna shade it. Next, the last one is, who among you still remember the name of this thing? Do you still remember? Very good. That is a hair blower used to dry the hair. So it gives off heat or not? Very good. It gives off it heat. And that's the end of our lesson 28 heat. I hope you enjoy these activities and lesson. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.